Mental health is absolutely a health and safety issue, not surprising given that one in six people in the workforce are affected by mental health issues. It affects their well-being, affects their productivity, it could affect them having an accident at work. So it's very much the focus of uh, one of IOSHU's priorities at the moment for our new Work 2022 strategy. It's a subject we've commissioned research on and produced resources about and internally we take health and safety as an employer very seriously. Mental health and well-being came up as a top three item on a health and safety poll with the workforce recently and has resulted in a new health and safety well-being strategy for the organisation. IOSH was delighted to host the session at ICO and I was privileged to chair a panel of really eminent speakers including two academics, uh, Margot Dusen from the Tilburg uh, University in the Netherlands who's undertaken research on behalf of IOSH, Nuita Kawakami from the University of Tokyo, Rob Hampton who's a GP and uh, Public Health England champion and Judith Grant who's uh, one of our members and an IOSH professional who works for the MACE group. Uh, the content was excellent uh, and it was all about the impact of mental health conditions at work and how employers can effectively manage staff at work and support staff returning to work after absence. Uh, we tackled issues such as the stigma of mental health, the lack of understanding in the workplace and generally the communication. Um, the need for training and skills for managers which is critically important. Awareness of co-workers helping to support people returning to work and improved collaboration across professional disciplines. Uh, the session built on our research, which is around barriers and facilitators to return to work for workers with common mental health disorders. This research highlighted four outcomes for improvement. The need for closer collaboration between professionals on individual cases, personalised approaches to return to work, not a one-size-fits-all, and support for workers on self-awareness and gaining control and I think critically important, improving managers' skills and knowledge. This research complements our occupational health toolkit, our webinars and our resource material, all which is freely available on our website. And all culminates in the development of a new IOSH occupational health product due for release this summer.